Congratulations. Thank you. I watched you over the weekend. Absolutely incredible. What was it like watching yourself back? It must be absolutely amazing. It's very strange. Um, it's almost like watching somebody else, I guess. Um, it's a it's a nice feeling though. Like obviously with my auditions going really well um, and seeing that reaction all over again is really, really nice. <laughs> so I watched your first audition and mm -hmm. obviously Gary was a massive fan of you. Yeah. And Louis wasn't so sure, he's like, you know, he wasn't sure what you'd be like on the bigger stage. Yeah. That first audition, how nervous were you? What were you like? What was it like for you the whole process? Yeah, I was really nervous because obviously you just don't know what to expect. Um, you kind of got an idea because you've seen it on TV before. But the room was obviously a new in introduction to the show this year, um, so obviously no one's seen that for a long time. So I, I didn't, didn't really know what to expect. Um, but yeah, I was just really, really nervous. It's um, it's like nothing I've ever experienced before, really. I mean. Initially, it was just very nerve-wracking going on and sort of getting into it and things, but then when everyone started to stand up and when everyone was cheering, you sort of like feed off the audience and that goes straight back into your performance and you kind of, you're giving all that energy back out. It's it's great. It's such a good feeling. Because you've got standing ovation, like, you know, that doesn't yeah. happen very often. Was that just, that must have been incredible for you. Was that really important for you to get, obviously, the support from the audience? Yeah, um, for me the stand innovation kind of represented, um, well I hope it represented the fact that uh, I'd got through to them with the song because that's ultimately my goal as a songwriter to um, relate to people. I, I think if, if someone can listen to your song and think, oh God, goodness yeah, I know exactly what she's talking about, I've been through that, I think that you know, you've really nailed it if you do that so I was really really happy with the reaction that I got in the arena. So let's talk about that song I mean I was literally crying I was like <laughs> I can't watch this anymore oh, I mean no. every girl I mean most people have gone through a heartbreak and it's yeah. you know what a better way to you know go through that and to write a song about it yeah. so tell me the story behind that song. Um well <laughs> I was going through a breakup at the time Um it was a song that I wrote in between the room and the arena and um, it was just sort of everything that I was feeling, sort of very like unsure, not really knowing where things were going, and it's just all those things collated together, I guess. <laughs> and the person who it was about, what was their reaction when they heard the song? And well, um, they're really supportive of my music, and they understand that um, as a songwriter, I am writing from my heart and. I'm writing about my experiences and obviously they came into that. I absolutely love writing songs. Um, it's just like a massive release for me because um, I always find it really awkward <laughs> talking about how I feel and I, I just I don't think I'm a very good talker at all so my way of talking is through a song. And what's the support being like back home? You know your dad's a big fan. Yeah. Like, oh, he's welling up as well. <laughs> Dad. What's, what's the family support being like? And obviously, you know, your friends at the supermarket, are they yeah. all uh, being very supportive? What's the reaction being yeah, like Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, everyone's just been amazing. Um, everyone's got behind me. I'm so lucky to have such an amazing bunch of uh, friends at work and just in general, really, and my family are great. And obviously my dad. <laughs> Your dad's so sweet, honestly. You're about the best dad ever. <laughs> now, what? Obviously, you've got some big, scary moments to come now. Mm -hmm. well, how are you feeling about it all? Are you feeling confident? Because obviously, there are some good, especially girls' things in the competition. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like the competition is really yeah. hot this year? Um, I do. Um, but the way I'm gonna approach it is just focus on myself, and you know, try and focus on my strengths and. Um, yeah, just not compare myself. I think I think that's the wrong way to go about it. Um, but I just I'm just really enjoying the experience, and you know whether this is the end for me or not. You know whether it carries on. I'm so grateful that I've got this far, and you know it's the, the opportunity of a lifetime. So. so out of the judges, who's your favourite so far, and who who would you like to mentor you? I don't have a favourite. Yeah, I mean, that's what everyone no, says. I don't, honestly, but I don't know, like, I genuinely don't have a favourite. Um, obviously, um, if I had to pick a favourite um, with the songwriting thing, I'd have to say Gary. 
um, but I love them all. <laughs> what about collaborations? Is that a possible One Direction collaboration? We've always got to you ask because we love One Direction. <laughs> I mean, I heard you're a big fan of James Arthur as well. Is that true? Huge James Arthur fan, yeah. So, would you say maybe seeing him on the show maybe inspired you to go on? I mean, what actually made you go on the show? Um, well, yeah, I think I'd say that the James Arthur thing was a big thing for me. Like, it definitely pushed me because um, I think it was in the February of last year, which is a few months before all the X Factor stuff kicked off for James. Um, I was in the same pub as James gigging and um, there was about 10 people there and obviously to see him go from that to the, the level that he is now, you know, I just thought, you know, I've got nothing to lose.